your back from the toilet. Now, back to our show. Fuck yeah. You like smashing pumpkins? Oh, I didn't know who this was. <laughs> Chip does. Jim didn't. Chip. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Damn, da, 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 da. Oh, we got Bobby Brown outside the studio. Yes. Her, uh, her new and only book, uh, Dirty Rocker Boys, Love and Lust on the Sunset Strip. What's up, Bobby Brown? Hello. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. How are you? How are you? God damn, you look good. Thank you. <laughs> Can I get comfortable? Yeah, oh please. My God, get please. comfy. As comfortable go as you ahead. Want. Go ahead. Take off the old scarf. Yeah. Is it that cold out? You need a scarf? I yeah. Was, yeah, it was a it's little cold. Yeah, oh, it's freezing. Oh, damn. Freezing. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a little, little cold. cold in New York today. You got the big boobies working there. Oh, nice. Jesus. Yeah. What? 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 Oh, my God. Just trying to get to know Bobby Brown. What's wrong with you? I mean, if you're going to have boobs like that and you're showing them off, I got to at least comment about them. They're very nice, right, Jimmy? She's very lovely, yeah. Very lovely. You. Look good. Thanks. <laughs> Taking the glasses off, the eyes looking yeah, nice. Thank you. Are we your first stop today or yes. no? Oh, God. Yeah, a lot of interviews today. I Oh, my God, nonstop. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you an early, uh, early Not bird? Really. No, Not yeah. Really. You yeah. do know a lot of guys whacked off to you, right? What? That, wait, wait. Well, uh, well <laughs> is that bad to say? It's opie. Does this look retarded? No, I. No, no, not at all. You look good. You're rocking it. Yeah. You look very lovely. Thank you. Um, yeah. What made you write the book? <laughs> what made me write the book? Well, you know, I had um, been mentioned in like 13 other rock books, and I thought, you know, that's not really how it went down. Or Oh, really? So, yeah. So I just thought, I'm going to do my retort and mm. uh, from a girl's, you know, woman's perspective. And. Yeah, their memories were a little different than. Well, they do it kind of to serve them. I, th I find right. that, that a lot of books are, are, you know, famous people will write a book and it serves them or whatever. And I was self-deprecating. I was, you know, brutal about myself and the truth mm. about everything. How did you get uh, discovered? Let's start there. Um, I was Miss Teen Louisiana. Nice. And um, went to the uh, final, you know. Miss Teen USA, and I got in the top five. I was number two in the nation, and I said, my question was, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up, you know, oh. or whatever, and I was like, I want to be a model. And I had some calls <laughs> and went to L.A. after I graduated high school and kind of took it from there. Wow. Yeah. But what was the first thing you were in that people knew you f from um, I, when you hit L.A., I guess? The first week I got there, I booked a rock video for huh. Hurricane. It was, uh, yeah. And then shortly after that, I was um, Star Search winner. Like, no, I didn't win the final, but right. I won 13 times in a row, which is more times What'd than What'd you anybody. do? Spokesmodel? Oh, right, right. The Spokesmodel competition. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I remember that. What yeah, would the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Spokesmodel competition do? I always watch the competition. They would, like, bring him in and out of the show. It's, it's, it's like, like, can you read a teleprompter? And yeah. now, yeah, you just look good. Yes, we'll yeah. be back be with more you. Star yeah. Search. Yeah. Right. Yeah. After Hit. No, I mean this. Yes. <laughs> so you looked good, and you read a teleprompter. Basically. Okay. Yeah, and you got hit on by Ed. On the uh, oh, did Ed oh, try really? to bang you? Ew! I don't know if it. I would take it there, but like <laughs> he was definitely very flirty. You know. Like, yeah. Like, eh. He was. Could, who could blame him? He how, was hoping. Yeah. He was hoping how for something. How does Ed flirt though? Uh, with the same line over and over, like you know, that's like a lazy Susan, like talking about the, the stage, how it would turn around, and every oh, time. Oh wow, that's like, hot. You know, I've done this thirteen times. Get... I hear the same. Yeah. Oh, You're not going to get God. a girl by saying lazy Susan. No, not at all. Oh. And I didn't even know Smell what my was. nose. It smells like Johnny's ass. Yeah, it's, gross. <laughs> it's pretty gross. But, um, and then he also tried the opening the door of his, um, his dressing room naked. So. Oh, wow. Wait, you're walking by and you open his... You know, stuff like that. Uh, like, okay. You know, stuff like that. Hold yeah. on a second. What, oh, were you, oh, oh, what were you doing when you opened his dressing room door naked? Uh, trying not to throw up in my mouth. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like, it was pretty... Uh, I was just like, ah! Oh, wow. Walking, yeah. Ed looks like he would probably be all bag. Ed, Ed looks like he would have just oh, big balls and a re relatively I'm, small a micro penis. penis. <laughs> like two, tube socks with rocks in it. Oh, it was, it was oh, big oh, yeah. God. One of those and, and with a mushroom cap. Oh, oh shit. Boy, helmet. Nice. Uh, micro Pretty, it's pretty, uh, yeah. Yeah. What did you do? Did you say anything to him? I was horrified and kind of just kept walking. It's a different world back then, though, because there wasn't all these sexual harassment suits and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you, no you couldn't human go to the resource as much. Yeah. Yeah. No HR. Yeah. Could yeah. get away with that. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, oh. We call the it the good old days. <laughs> right, the good old days. What was the implication? That he wanted to sleep with you before the show? 
there was no implication. He was just all like, hey. And you're just like, oh, yeah. wow. Making believe. Whatever I wanted. I mean, yeah, yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. you wanted. <laughs> Making believe you weren't walking by at that moment. Yeah, when you something the like door. that. That's uh, what I think. What a creep. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so then, all right, you're doing all this stuff. And then, uh, what was the first, like, uh, big video that got heavy cherry rotation? Cherry Pie. It's got to be Cherry Pie. Was it? Or was Actually, it no, Great it was White? Great White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, Great White was before Cherry Pie? Yeah. yeah. As far as the videos go? Yeah. 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 What was the song? Yeah. Once um, bitten twice, twice shot. Yeah, once bitten twice, twice shot. Oh, I remember that. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's when the yeah. Was, oh, I was in love with you. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Came out with that halter top thing yeah. on. With I was your like, girlfriend. Jesus yeah. H. Christ. Yeah. Girlfriend, an attractive girl right there. Joining yeah. the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. They come sliding in toward the microphone. Yeah, and singing. Yeah, exactly. Roll. Yeah. Well, believe me. I, yeah. Once it greened in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. I thought the outfits were very skimpy and revealing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care for that at all. Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that. That was uh, that was a good one. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to become like a famous video girl now because videos are not what they. Exactly. They, they, you know, there's no central it's place. Yeah, really. you don't watch them anymore. It's well, not the same. Yeah. I, well, the videos do really well on YouTube. Actually, Dude. they are watching the videos. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess so. But but MTV is not. I mean, it's not MTV era nah, anymore. Right. Where MTV. everybody's watching the same stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's not there's too many choices. Community like, of watching. Yeah. Right. That, that happened. There's plenty of videos to watch on YouTube, but yeah. you're not all watching them at the same time. And like, oh, did you see that? I remember one? they used to do the world premiere. Oh video. yeah, it was a Fuck big yeah. thing. They'd do that whole setup yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. It was like weeks they'd be going. And remember next week? Yeah. We got yeah. the world premiere. Exactly. The new Kip Winger video. Exactly. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever fuck him? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just feel it would be a pertinent question. No, wow. no, no. Uh, how long did it take you to get, like, uh, after Cherry Pie, what happened? The video um, premieres? God, I, it kind of blew up. Like mm, it, That it, was the one. Was that was the moment. one for, like, eight months or something. Yeah, crazy. And, yeah, it was. Uh, that was, was all because of you. In heavy rotation, they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it did really well, and my career did re really well, and um, kind of took off from there. I mean. Everything yeah. was cherry pie. Everything, you know. Yeah, you. Well, you were. It wasn't even like you were just a little bit player in the video. I had no prominently idea featured I was there be in that video that much. I was actually shocked. I couldn't. Yeah. I was in it as much, if not more, than the band. How'd you get the video? Yeah. They knew you, or they just auditioned for it, or? No, um, I guess Janie was watching Star Search. I was. That's when my Star Search was going, and he called his agency and said, "I want that girl." Must uh, be in handy. my video, yeah, and uh, I didn't go to the casting. I was like, eh, I'm too hungover. I didn't go, <laughs> and then they called and said she didn't show up, and so then I went the next day, and they were like, you have the job. So wow, yeah, it was pretty easy. Did you start dating him right away? No, I had a boyfriend. I was with Matthew Nelson at the time, and um, who was who's that? He was his grandpa was Ozzy and Harriet. Yeah. Oh, wait, you went out with one of the Nelson? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah. Wait, Gunner and Matt, right? Yeah. Okay. I went out with Matt. Matt. They showed up at my Star Search and they were like, wanted to meet me at the Star Search show. And that's when Did I started. Did you tell them apart? Him. Yeah. They the were... Star Search is like fucking match.com for <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I think tell. just walking the street is match.com for her. Yeah, yeah. Are, you, <laughs> are you kidding me? Everyone's yeah. trying. Well, back in, back then, you know, I guess I had it going on. I don't know. You still but, got it going on. Thank you very absolutely. much. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I could tell them apart. One was the, kind of the asshole. Oh, wow, one. really? And Matthew was the nice one, yeah. So, mm. why was the other one an asshole? He was the more, um, you know, upfront, kind of aggressive, like, you know, you want this shit kind of thing, you know? <laughs> like, eh. And I had just broken up with an asshole, so I was like, I'm gonna go with the nice guy. Mm -hmm. So, I dated Matt. And how did that go wrong? Or, how um, they kind of blew up, their career blew up, and he got too big for his britches, and, um, well, he became know. an asshole. Well, yeah, he might have became of. a little bit of an asshole. Is what and, you're saying? Yeah, and then Gunner kind of controlled him, like their career. Like he kind of ran it because he was right. the aggressive one, and uh, I was I was bad news for him. So he made him break up with me. I guess. Jesus. I, I don't know much about the Nelsons. Do they, do they yeah. don't sing Garden Party? Do they? Who sings that's it? No, that was oh, his dad. Oh, it is the father. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they what they do? They did all right. Ricky Nelson. They did, their oh, first right. record was what they did well. They did pretty. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. They had a couple hits. After the rain and um, love and affection. Right, you would know them if you heard them. Oh, okay, yeah. I wasn't a big fan to be honest with you. Yeah, it was definitely him. It was one of my favorite uh, lines on Beavis and Butthead, though. What? I was like, who are these chicks? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So then you go with Janie Lane after that. Yeah, um, he found out that we broke up and like called four minutes later, <laughs> literally, and um, so we started going out. But he had already been on Howard Stern saying he was going to marry me one day when I was wow. still with Matthew, and I was like, okay, that was pretty ballsy. 
And, well, did you um, guys have like vibes before that though? It must have been some kind of flirting. He had vibes. I didn't have vibes. I mean, I was committed, but Janie was um, definitely sending me flowers to the set on the cherry pie video and would show up at my apartment like with my roommate like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, that's wow. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Was, so I told him, <laughs> I, you know, you have, I have your number. I'll use it if I want wow. to. He said he was devastated when I said that. Oof. So. But yeah. then you guys fell in love, obviously. Yeah, for a while there. He gives every stalker hope. Right. Because, like, we're, we're always oh, told, like, yeah. you know, but that once in a while you hear that works where the hot girl, the guy yeah. shows up. It helps if the stalker's are a rock star and not right. living in his yeah. mom's basement that's reading true. Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> yeah. Were you guys officially married? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. For how long? Um, we were married for three and a half years. Three and a half years. And, you had and we have one, a daughter. You had one, one kid together, mm -hmm. right? Okay. She's 22 now. Wow. You have a 22 year old? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, she's yeah. in the dean's list at college. Right now, right? everybody's yeah. Googling. <laughs> saying like, hey, this is pretty hey, awesome. Yeah. There's a picture of her in the book. To? Yeah, I don't think there's a current picture of her, but um, there's I don't one have that's, my phone in here either. There's yeah. one that's relatively recent. Let me see. Definitely looks um, like Janie. She looks a lot like him, yes. Oh, oh yeah, she's about, uh, I don't know, maybe 14 or so here. Yeah, she's 22 Ish. now. She's gorgeous. Yeah. You can hmm. look her up on... Is her name Cherise? No. It's Taylor. T-A-Y-L-A-R Lane. Taylor Lane. So you, you uh, were you partying back then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. What was your main uh, indulgence? I started off doing <clears throat> coke and then, um, and then went on to do a meth. It was the 80s, so it was the law. You really had to do it. It was like it. a three-day turnaround yeah. to lose 10 pounds, and uh, oh, I was shit. a model, so, hey, you have a modeling job this weekend? Okay, no problem. I'll lose eight pounds. No, here it is. Got it covered. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, and it was. It was like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was meth wow. popular back then, though? In the I didn't hear I about know. it in the 80s. It was kind of underground. It was like a secret thing that you didn't really talk about because it wasn't cool. It was kind of cheesy to do or something. I don't know, but it, hey, it worked. Right. Yeah. Mm. And you got addicted, right? Yeah, I mean, any. I think any woman who could see that how much weight they could lose in a matter of a week's time would become addicted had they known. Wow, yeah. Like, yeah, because it was Jeez. so, it was great, you know, <laughs> like to just lose the weight like that, you know, women would die for that. How long were you on it? How many uh, years? On and off for like 10 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, because then you get off of it and you start to gain the weight. You're like panicky. You don't want to, God forbid, work out or diet, <laughs> you know? Um so yeah, it was, and it's bad because it screws up your metabolism, and you know. Man, yeah, yeah. that's fucking crazy. It was all rock, so you, you kind of liked the rock guys. I did for a while. Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of thrown into that though. I, everybody keeps trying to call me a groupie. I was not a groupie. I had my own career. I wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, hanging a backstage waiting to get some rock dick. Like it wasn't <laughs> like that at all. You know, right. like. I was a model working, and it just kind of worked. You know, we met each other that way. But I just want to say, you came out of meth, uh, all right, man. You thank look, you. Uh, <laughs> no, because you, you see the horror stories and the pictures online. You look great. Yeah, thank you. You lucked out. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> you, you wear meth well. well it's, uh, thank you. It no, works. I mean, you, you've seen no. the pictures though. Like, hey, it, kids, it, it could ages work you for you. No, Take no. your teeth and <laughs> look. No, no. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. How were you doing it? Smoking it or uh, smoke? both? Whatever, whatever yeah. took. And I didn't shoot anything. No, any okay. Means. No, I'm not needles ever. Hate that. But um, yeah, smoked it, snorted it, whatever. Mm. Meth is pretty brutal to snort. Oh my gosh, your eyeball goes rolling out of your head. Like you're like, whoa. <laughs> like, I'm like, Twenty burn, minutes, yeah. Burns. <laughs> yeah, it does. I didn't even know I was doing it the first time I did it. Like, really? So they, they didn't tell me. And yeah, and I was like, what the hell was that? I never understood coke. doing drugs when you don't know what they are. When someone goes, here, take this, and yeah. people just pop it in their mouth. You just assume yeah. it's all like, right. Yeah. It's called having a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think that was Are that. you clean these days? Yeah. How yeah. long? How long? Um, I don't, I'm not one of those uh, okay. who are all like, um, 18 days for, right. you know, I don't, it's been so long that I don't do that. I mean, yeah, I still drink every now and then. Right. Um, I'm social, whatever. A little weed every once in a while. Social, whatever. Like I said, <laughs> but, um, nothing runs my life anymore. So mm. you're not doing hardcore drugs. No, no, no. Did you date DiCaprio? I, I read a little bit about that. Or was that just a, I was just a, a hookup. Oh. It was just a hookup. And, um, I mean, he was young. Mm. He, basketball you know, diary time, right? Yeah, he was 21. really young. He was 21 when he made Basketball Diaries. Okay. He was really young. I was like... I hear he has a big piece. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, I, 
That's to me, the- at the time, it was big comparatively to his little 19-year-old self. Um, and plus, like, <laughs> you know, now it could be totally different. Who okay. knows? Well, you know? Let's put on a couple of pounds. It might look you know a little, you know, like a little might, different. It sure, might be sure. Different. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That was a long time ago, too. So, Well, the part that was interesting to me was it was not his, his big delicious penis. It was the fact that <laughs> he wanted you to put a condom on him for oral sex. Yeah, it was weird. The hell's that about? Um, I think he was just like, you know, oh, I had dated some crazy rockers and he didn't know. He was very uneducated about, you know, diseases, how, yeah, you, how huh? you get them, how you, you know. So he was like asking me questions that was kind of a mood alterer and a negative. What did he ask you? You know, oh, do you have any diseases? Do you have herpes? Do you Here's have a checklist? Like, wow, <laughs> this isn't usually part of the foreplay, but, um, <laughs> you know. And then he wanted me to put a condom on. I was like, oh, I've never done that before. God, I wish I right. fucking love them. What a great attitude that is. I love her. <laughs> yeah, never did it before and never will again. So there you go. <laughs> oh, you like it raw. No. Uh, Who doesn't? Gosh. It was awful. <laughs> Pretty gross. Huh? Yeah. It was wow, awful. that's so fucked up. <laughs> so did you put it on for the oral sex? Uh, yeah, I tried it. I was uh, just like, yeah, why not? I'll try it. Sure. Whatever. And it was rancid. It was bad. Did he finish, yeah. though? Was he able to or no? Mm, no. Yeah, that's hard with it. Oh, you gotta man. read the book. Do they? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, but you have to. It, it's like oh, even if I knew the answer to certain things, you still. I, yeah. you, no, you have I to. I didn't finish. I wasn't about to finish with it like that. I was mm. like, ugh. Would you take it off him? That's terrible. I just, I got off him. Period. I was just like, yeah, this isn't working out. This is a, yeah. there's wow. a lot of great stories in this book, by the way. And I have like two well more written. books worth of stories. There, really? There just well, wasn't enough. Let's get this one enough, sold, you know and we'll I mean? move on to the second one. Yeah, right. No, I have lots of great stories. You and Pamela Anderson. Yeah. I think you're hotter than Pamela Anderson. Thank you. I really Thank do. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I, I always thought that. Thank you. And, and you hooked up with Tommy Lee, too. Yeah, we were engaged. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, were, nice? you, were you with Tommy before Pam, right? Yes. Okay. I introduced them. And then he blows you off for her? Um, kind of, yeah. We were breaking up, and she was came around, to, you know, right around that time. And uh, so, you know, four days later, it was kind of like a... He was giving me a play-by-play, kind of going like, I'm going to go, you know, fuck Pam. I'm going to do this. And I'd be like, fine, you guys deserve each other, whatever. Like, I was trying to be cool about it. But I little did I know they were going to marry. Wow, you know? yeah. Like, that was pretty devastating for me. But You, was really, he, you was, really loved him, huh? I did. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was nice to you or was he abusive or like a dick? Um, he was all of the above. <laughs> Shit, yeah. really? I mean, but, you know, it was not until the end was it abusive or, mm. you know. But he's a... You know, for a rock star, very insecure, used to be very insecure, but all of them were, actually. It's really, really? weird. You would think that they would have such confidence because they have so much going for them, and they're probably the most insecure people I've ever gone out with. Wow. Yeah, cool. so needy. So needy. It was weird. Well, maybe also when, when you're on that level, you're used to dating girls that are totally submissive to you, and I'm then when not, you have somebody else yeah. who has their own career, it might be a little bit harder. A little intimidating, that. right? They right. hated me having my own career. Mm-hmm. They both wanted to try and stifle the career. Why right. is that? Probably for what the reasons you're saying. Oh, because it puts you in touch with other people on their level, too. Yeah, they just didn't like that I had my own shit going. They wanted me to just follow them around. Be dependent on... Yeah. yeah. And I hated that. And then you and oh, Pam shit. just never got along. Um, we, I was friendly to her in the beginning, and and um, and you know, I didn't know that she had any other eyes for my dude or anything at the time. But um, she was very flirtatious, and she seemed to be the type of person who was uh, validated by men attention, man attention, you know. Mm. And um, like she didn't have a lot of girlfriends, it seemed at the time. But uh, the focus was definitely not on me; it was on him. So um, you know, that could be different now. I don't know her personally that well, but. Um, yeah, they got married mm. four days later, so, you know, I probably <laughs> not four wrong. four days later? Like, he and I broke up. They met, and Jeez. she tried to come around and hang out, and it was probably like a month or so, and then we were br- kind of breaking up, and then he followed her to Cancun. Um, I moved out, and then he followed her to Cancun, and within four days, they were married. After that all went down four days together. after you? Yeah, after Holy our final shit. breakup. Yeah, It was pretty devastating for me, I have to say. That was the downward spiral to my addiction. And that was, wow, yeah. And that was a huge story, obviously. We all saw I that. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't turn the TV on. I couldn't open a tabloid. I couldn't go outside of my house. It was like constant reminder of this blow, this complete, you know, betrayal. Um, mm-hmm. It was really hard. And I got down to 90 pounds. My addiction just went spiraling. What were you I, doing at the time, addiction-wise? Meth. Oh, just funny. meth. Uh-huh. Oof. And I got like out of control. Did you have the money for it? I mean, it was it, it gets expensive after a while. No, no, I was 
I had my own career, you know, I was making my own money and uh, mm. yeah, I had good money. <laughs> How'd you yeah. get out of the downward spiral? God, it took like five years yeah. to just, you know, let go of the pain of that because it was kind of like a, um, a publicized death or re-stabbing of, no. you know, with the back over and over, like having to see it, it just kind of killed me every time. Um, Did you do anything to get back at him? I called a press conference when they after they got married and um, basically for free didn't get you know charge any money I just wanted to do them a favor and let them know what had had just happened and where they were and what their room number was and their hotel and oh okay so you the answer is yes yeah I so, did yeah. do something to get back to that. Yeah. so I kind of ruined their you know honeymoon and their their nuptials so but, they, mm. but you know I, I guess they liked it I don't know yeah. did you know yeah. about the happy she says he has hepatitis. I think he says he doesn't, but did you? He doesn't. He doesn't? No, he doesn't. So she lied? I think so. Yeah, he doesn't have hepatitis C. And, you know, and if he did, wouldn't her children? Mm, you'd think. You I don't know, know. If, if, he, if she got it from him, okay, and she had their children <laughs> after they were together, her children would have Right. Mm, you'd think. They don't. Well, it, that's like breaking news. Well, well I mean, think works. about it. It's just like logical if you just... You know what I mean? Right. Like, work it out. I don't know, but he doesn't have it. Who was your rebound after him? God, who wasn't my rebound after Oh, yeah? Him? Like, yeah. who was the first one where you're just like, Man, fuck those, this, I'm going to town? A lot of lucky guys. Um, he was um, he was just a model, and uh, he just... Straight? Became, yeah. Wow, that's straight? fucking weird. Yeah. A straight model yeah. guy? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> she goes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was straight. <laughs> Um, I had mm. a lot of, you know, it, it was kind of like a, a year of hate fucking. Basically. Yeah. Huh? Nice. Yeah. And then I, then I was celibate for like five years. Then I went from doing, Damn. doing that to nobody. It's to like keeping point. a Lamborghini garage. What are it you was, doing? I would just do, I would just, <laughs> I, just, I would just do it to, to be a dick. Yeah. Like, take them home, screw them and be like, here's some money for a cab. Get out of here. And they'd be you like, give them money to leave? Yeah, fuck yeah. Wow. Yeah, I would kick him out and they'd be like, well, well, you know you want this. I'm like, no, get the fuck out. Oh, man. Any yeah. tears? That'd be funny. Guy's like, come on, I love you. <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah, right. put the, the fucking, <laughs> put the stiletto heel in his mouth and go, get the fuck out of yeah. my house. And then I wouldn't speak to them if I saw them out. They would be like, hey, and I'd be like, I would just <laughs> ignore them. It was awesome, I guess. It was just my hurt. It was my pain. I was just trying yeah. to inflict pain on everybody. And then celibate for five years. Yeah. Wow. Then it got, well, that was weird. Then I got mm. like, you know you know skin starved i didn't know like when i really wanted to have sex five, after the five years i was like what do i do what do I? I felt retarded all over again wow yeah scary <laughs> nervous yeah did you see the sex tape that they put out when, when Tom did, did i oh you did watch it did, did i well, you gotta read my book it's yeah um, it was a joke it was a running joke every party i went to they'd be like oh i go to the bathroom and i'd come back and it would be on like in the background i'd be like oh, oh wow here it's that geez. thing we showed it at thanksgiving yeah. we showed it at thanksgiving uh dinner one year yeah it was awful we had a showing like, a you, family I love showing you. i love you i love you i love you i was like oh my god i'm gonna be sick yeah oh, i wouldn't like that wow. in bed either actually hearing i love you i love you like all right yeah like, come <laughs> all right on, enough yeah. of that shit yeah she yeah. writes about that in the book dirty rocker uh boys love and lust on the yeah. sunset strip yeah yeah you do kind of you are fairly detailed um i am very mm. detailed and you said i, I like the fact that you threw you, you can i think tommy you're still a little annoyed at um because you throw a good jab at him about tommy thought he had the biggest dick in hollywood and then you said leo and you're like Good. Leo might be bigger than Tommy. Wow. You know, I don't know. Like I said, currently, gotcha. who can say, I, at the time, and I was on drugs, I don't know, but at the time, <sighs> I remember doing exactly what I say in the book, like, turn the lights on, like, let me check this out. <laughs> you know, like, whoa, what, what, because I, I wasn't expecting that mm. at all, you know? <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, who, who can say? He might have grown into his. Right, girth. sure. I'm not sure. sure. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, you know, a tiger cub's got them big paws. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like 10 year old kids have the really big teeth and ears. I, there you okay. go. What are you going to do? Fair head. enough. I don't know. <laughs> you said no one wore rubbers back then, either. None of the rock stars did. Um, yeah, rubbers weren't fun. I don't think they oh, are even warrant. still, but like, <laughs> yeah. Terrible things. Yeah. Let me ask you were you on the pill at that time or no? I was on a, um, a shot called the Depo Provera shot. Oh, that one. Yeah. It makes women crazy sometimes. My ex-husband used to say it made me a really gnarly bitch, but I yeah. just thought I was already, so I don't know. What's that, five years or something it works for? I, don't, I was on it for like 11. 
How many times do you have to get shot? Once every three months. Oh, that often. Okay. I, I'm thinking of the thing that, that gets implanted. Mm. Oh, that? yeah. They got those implant yeah. things. Oh. They're like, it looks like there's little wires under Ooh, your skin or something. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. This is a shot in the butt every three months, and you get a woman, no period. It's kind of awesome. Wow. Yeah. Do you have a tampon? No. <laughs> I don't. That's that's a pleasure right there. Yeah, sure, it's kind of a plus. Any time. Yeah. So when did you mellow out? Like what mellowed you out? I don't know. Am I mellow right now? <laughs> well, no, but I mean, like in the, in the lifestyle wise, like like as far as partying so much and just... well, you found balance, obviously. Yeah. You're yeah. not doing the crystal meth and you know. Yeah, I wasn't going out. Yeah. Um. God, it's been a while. I don't go out at all anymore. Like, no. So, n I was just telling uh, my manager Lorraine. I was like, you know, I don't know if somebody could pay because some girls were coming into the hotel just like just getting home mm. or just getting in. It was like an hour ago. Walk shame. Just all like whoa. You know, and I was like, wow, I don't think anybody could pay me to do that anymore. And I went, mm. well, maybe they could pay me, but yeah. I don't know that I'd enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I haven't done that in years, 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 years. Wow. Well, have yeah. guys offered you money? Offered me money to what? Well, you know, I mean, have they offered? I'm not saying you take oh, it. Oh, 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 uh, yeah. I used to have, I, but you know, I was too proud back then. I was like, I don't need your money. Hmm. Yeah, I look back on that and go, well, maybe I could have reconsidered that, but are you, I never did. Are you married now or dating? Or? No, I'm single. Single, divorced for a long time. Um, haven't had a boyfriend for a while. Yeah. I don't get really get hit on, honestly. Are I get we, hit on online, but like, that's what's that. Why do so many beautiful women say that, that guys it's don't true, even though. hit on them? Why? I don't know. Are they just scared or just assume that you got to be taken? I don't know. Honestly, mm. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's probably that it's probably they think you're taken or they think like there's no way there's something, you know, that, that right. she would go for me. I, nobody. I, actually, people just don't want to hit on me. And if they do, it's really uh, crazy. Like, you know, like it's over the top. They feel like they have to be so over the top. And that freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. What do you consider over the top? Like, um, hey, do you want to go back to my house and fuck? Like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a little over the top for That's me. a little. I like to go a little slow. A little I like subtlety. A little slow. Somewhere yeah. between that and a cup of uh, coffee yeah. would be nice, right? Have guys said that to you? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's a bit much. It's uh, embarrassing. Certainly. Yeah. The, uh, uh, you, are you on Twitter? Yes. All right. At Bobby Jean Brown. Are people, like, cool? Huh? People are cool with you or you get fucking get assholes? A, I'm the only, well, you know I'm on a, a reality show called X Wives of Rock. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm the only one out of all the four of us that people go to and just talk shit to. Like, just <laughs> really? rip me apart. They tell me I'm fat or... Holy shit. Drink, the, yeah. Twitter people are fucking brutal. I'm just 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 Thank you. I'm really fat. I'm ugly. Fat. I'm a train wreck. I'm a hot mess. I'm... Um, <laughs> hot I need to get, a guy told me I needed plastic surgery. Wow. I was like, wow, wow. And, and then do the white knights ride in? No, man, fuck him. It's so weird. I, I would <laughs> never go to anybody and just rip them apart. Just be like, hey, I'm going to go to them and just tell them what a piece of shit I think they are. Like, that's horrible. I don't even feel that way about anyone. You don't look like you had a lot of plastic surgery. I haven't had any. Yeah. Well, you got the boobs done. I mean, that's about that's it, my right? face. No, yeah. I, I, you look great, too, Thank in the you. face. Everything's looking all right with yeah. Bobby Brown. Thank you. you well, know, yeah, I've had my boobs done, but that's it. A fun thing to do, though, it takes a little time. To, you got invest a little time you uh you look at their whole twitter line and mm -hmm. you find that one link from a while ago where they post a picture or a facebook account and then you go there and you you find his pictures of like his wife and kid and then you call his kid ugly and his wife fat <laughs> oh shit. my gosh oh it's classic and then and then especially on like with this show i just released the hounds <laughs> the audience just piles on and uh and they say ha ha things i wouldn't even say People are uh, brutal, man. They just yeah. really are. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is. It's this newfound um, outlet that people have to just be to hate. fucking brutal. horrid. We think out loud. Yes. We, everyone right. can hear us. Yes. Yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. engage. You know, my show will say, just don't engage. Just ignore them. I yeah. can't help it. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I have yeah. to yeah. You know, I gotta fight say back. Something. And then, you know, 90% of them are like apologetic and flip it or send me a private message of apology, not uh, a public one. Yeah, of yeah. Well, I don't want people to know yeah. that I'm sorry. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I only have like a small percentage of them going, like, and I hate you and you're untalented too. And, I'll and be then like, private message, you come over and fuck. <laughs> no. God, right? <laughs> so then I have to block them. But, you know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of weird. But none of the other girls get that kind of uh, abuse. Yeah. What, what do you like to do on a date? What's a fun date for you? I like to laugh. I don't care what we're doing. I think if you're funny or having a good time and just confident and whatever, I like to go to comedy clubs. I like to go Ooh, get coffee. Jimmy. I like.
to go to dinner. Ooh, coffee and yeah, comedy clubs. Chill. That's Jim Norton written all over. And yeah. dinner. I like eating. And dinner. I like eat. Sure, I sure. Eat. I'm definitely an eater. Wow. Um, yeah. Mm. A girl who likes to laugh, I think I made a mistake. I took her to see Lincoln. It was really a dud, <laughs> oh, horrible date. I think movies are <laughs> bad dates. Well, you, you don't talk. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. talk. It's like don't all talk. awkward and like weird. And, right. Yeah. yeah. Trying yeah. to make a move in the movie theater. Unless yeah. she's <laughs> giving you a handy. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that happens a movie, often. A movie yeah. like in Taxi Driver. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <Bring>. <laughs> hey, uh, where were you at with uh, Janie at the end of his life? He and I were actually really good friends. He, um, yeah. Yeah, he asked to move in with me like a month before he died. And um, I was like, you can't move in with me and my boyfriend. I had a boyfriend at the time. And he was like, why? I'm like, okay, I should have known that, uh, you know, I have a lot of regret about that because I was like, you're crazy. Um, but I mean, clearly he was reaching out in a way you yeah. know, to, to his first wife to ask to move in with me. That's kind of weird because we had a, an apartment downstairs that we were renting. He's like, let me just move in downstairs. I'm like, that would be so weird. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. What did he die of? Um, acute alcohol poisoning. Did he, so he, did he know at that point that he was dying, you think? Um, there's so, I do think so. Um, there's a lot of, uh, speculation and things about his death that I've come to learn that nobody really knows, but, uh, hmm. he should be alive right now. He relied undependent on some people that he trusted to take him to get help and they didn't. They basically took him to, to get more alcohol and then dumped him off at a hotel under an alias and left him there. Wow. Um, That's really found. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Horrible. Yeah. So, it's so do you really think sad. that was? Do you think that he was attempting to dry out or or just yeah. to go to a sane place? He wanted. He was begging to go to a hospital, and they said they were taking him, and they didn't. They basically mm. beat. He was uh, assaulted, and left in. Um, Jeez. In, Why do they uh, assault him? Um. His wallet was stolen, his shoes, his all of his um, personal belongings, and he was um, checked in under an alias and left at a ho at, in the hotel with a do not disturb sign on the door. And who are these people? That's the question mm, I want to know. Yeah. Do, do they know? N the only person that can um, question that is his wife, and she's not going to. Why do you think that? Mm. Why was, was there an right, insurance settlement? There's some interesting speculation. There's a make, lot of uh, things there. that we don't know. Um, mm. That, um, but there's some suspicions there, obviously. There's some weirdness, some stuff, right. some suspect stuff that you know came out after the fact that really uh, is annoying and upsetting. And I mean, I don't have all this stuff as like valid proof, but I do have enough information to say that I think that he should still be here. Right, right. And Something's that who, whoever's hands he was in at the moment really left him in a vulnerable position and he should have been taken mm. to a hospital. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's, and I'm saying that I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. No, you're just giving I an opinion. No, it is. I honestly no. think that if he'd have been in someone else's care that he would still be here. Uh huh. And do you regret not letting him like, when you absolutely. Look, yeah. I have a lot of guilt about that. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I mean, yeah, really, like you said, that would have been a weird situation. Really strange situation. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Most times it does. You know, most times when an ex wants to move in, it's they're usually, you know, that's usually a bad move. Most <laughs> yeah. times. I would assume. <laughs> Especially yeah, when yeah. you're living with your boyfriend. You yeah, know, like, yeah. 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 That would have been difficult for him to try and manage. But. Yeah. I can't blame the boyfriend for not wanting the ex-husband rock star <laughs> to move in. Of course. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. Wow. It almost never happens where the person is reaching out. And who knows if he would have moved in and then died, then you would have felt completely guilty. Like I shouldn't have let him because he moved in. and I'm, Yeah, know. but he probably wouldn't have died mm. because he would have been in my care. But that would have been a lot of care for me to have to deal with, you know, like right, right. it would have been yeah. a lot for me. Um, who knows? I mean, could have, should have, would have, you know, yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Know. In hindsight, of mm -hmm. course, you could beat yourself up. But I mean, it's really yeah. kind of silly. Yeah. yeah. You can't. So. Wow. That's something heavy. Any of that in the book? A little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 It's called Dirty Rocker Boys. And uh, the picture on the cover is you in a red halter top. Ooh. Very looking rather lovely. Heyday. With jean shorts and sucking on a, uh, a cherry. Yeah. That was from back in the day. Yes. Your lips look very lovely in that photo. Thank I was you. trying to say that not be creepy. <laughs> no, no. I have good lips. You certainly do. <laughs> I was blessed with some good jeans. Are you doing any book signings? Um, I haven't. I don't have a press tour planned yet. I mean, this is the first of my oh, stops. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's all it downhill goes, from here. Yeah. yeah I think we it we goes rule. With how it sells. What, is what I think. I don't know. What was uh, Janie Lane's uh, demons? You think? Um, he had a lot of you know um, 
issues with things that have ha happened to him, you know, along the way that he never really had closure with. And, um, and like just, what? Or you, or you yeah, don't professionally say. Do you read the book. Oh, I know, but I know. Um, he, this will sell the book. I'm yeah, telling you, because there's a lot of great stories in it. Yeah. A lot. He, um, you know, things with, uh, you know, family growing up, you know, no closure, things that happened to him when he tried to succeed as a musician, like Tinseltown type of um, situations you may be put in or not put in or aggressed upon you that you wouldn't prefer or choose. <laughs> um, mm. And, you know, Hollywood at its goriest or, or most fucked up, maybe, and um, that he couldn't really deal with. And, you know. I can't really say what, but like, you know, mm -hmm. just imagine, you know, some fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a really hard thing when you're in a band, uh, whatever. It's, it seems like it's hard to stay relevant for as, as the times change. Like a few people squeeze through and manage to make the jump like through grunge and then after grunge into whatever happened well, in 2000 to very bottlenecks. And then a lot of people are kind of left behind. Well, grunge it's took true. a lot of them out. A lot. Uh, I, I mean, it destroyed a lot of uh, careers. It really did. I mean, it totally changed that entire decade of, you know rock and right. hair metal and whatever. I mean, yeah. as soon as, like I even say it in the book, you know, he saw the writing on the wall when he went to his label and the warrant poster was removed and oh, replaced right. with Alice. That's and a Kane. famous story. Yeah. And he was just like, I remember him coming home just going, wow. Like it just was, you know, just hit, hit him, him like a ton of bricks. Like that's, that here it and is. And it was over for those guys within a day. It was unbelievable how it fast was like the music. Overnight. It was unbelievable how fast mm -hmm. the music changed because I was doing rock radio at the Crazy, time. Right? And all that stuff we were playing the hair bands. Yeah. It just and it felt went to grunge. it just felt like out of place like yeah. instantly. Yeah, it was weird. It was like overnight literally. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. But you need a little bit of time and then what happens is there's a resurgence. Oh, they came People back get a nostalgic few of the bands, in 10 years sure. usually and like Sebastian Bach and a lot of those guys are doing great now. They're yeah. out doing gigs. Um, you know, it took a while though. Yeah, it always takes a little away. while. <clears throat> I think you have to kind of go away. Yeah, you got to go away if, for a while. If you're forcing it on people, they're going to be like, yeah. oh, hell no, no. And then yeah, then yeah. Done. If you go away and then come back, I feel like that's the it best. It needs an element of nostalgia to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What grow a little bit and change, like Metallica cut their hair, and it might sound like a big deal, no, but it is a big deal. It was a big it switch. Is. All of a sudden, there was something different about the band. It just Absolutely. felt like a little bit right. different and newer, whatever it was, and the music was still yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to switch it up a little like bit. Like Chris Cornell, he, he went from that whole grunge mm -hmm. hair, you know, I remember, and then he was on Rolling mm -hmm. Stone with his, like, new model cut, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I think it is important to change your, your look and your style and your uh, in every way, I guess. He's yeah. got an amazing voice, Chris Cornell. Yeah, he really oh, does. Geez. Really, really does. Very talented. He is talented. V what a talent. He is he's, so talented. He's a performer. He is. <laughs> he is. I saw him live. He was really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, the book is called, I guess, uh, Dirty Rocker Boys, and it's good. I, I flipped through it. I didn't read the whole thing because I just got it yesterday. So um, we, have, we have a crack team here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think um, we got it done, though. We yeah. got some good stories out of Bobby Brown. Yeah. yeah. I got some good stories. I like the fact that you talk about people honestly, and you're not killing anybody from what I read. I mean, uh, no. I, I just like, no no one talks about that stuff. They're, they're always too vague, and not that I need to hear about DiCaprio's penis, but you yeah. bet I wanted to, and I'm happy you, know you talked I, about it. I just feel like, you know, I didn't want to deprive the reader of any of the facts, and I don't make myself <clears throat> glorious in the book. I'm very truthful about, you know, myself as well. And I'm just honest. I'm just honest is what it is. If anything, I don't lie. I tell too much of the truth is my problem. Mm -hmm. I overtell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I know. And some good it's pictures great. in the book. But thank uh, you. By the way. Thank you very much. It's always nice to, to know that Tommy, uh, I'm not, uh, DiCaprio has a really big dick because you like to see a guy who's got a great acting career and is really handsome have one more thing going for him. There's <laughs> nothing worse than reading that. Like you want to hear yeah, something right. awful. Like you know the, the the great big actors have fucking awful dicks. Like Aww. they come quick. You, you have to root against them a little bit. Well, seeing yeah. you seeing you in bed with Tommy Lee, why would he blow that off? That is just amazing. <laughs> Look at these pictures of Bobby Brown in bed with Tommy Lee. Well, you know, I oh was, my god, I was you know getting to be a. A crazy drug addict, and I, you know, he was cheating. Mm -hmm. He's a cheater, and I was, and and he was a little bit physically abusive. I couldn't do that. Wow, what kind you know? of physical abuse? He shoved you, or did he actually hit you? No, he doesn't. He never hit me, but he, you know, he did like the control thing that that guys do, like you know, like contain you or you know choke you and keep you from wow. moving or you know doing stuff like that. I but I have to admit, I have a mouth on me. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get oh, yeah. yourself in a little bit of trouble. I'm not. Mm. I don't back down. I will fight you. And so um, 
I will probably bring out the worst in anybody if if they're trying to, you know what I mean? Like, I can say some shit that will make somebody want to choke me, probably. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Some old, old I'm, school shit. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, I can, I can, ah, just right. screaming. Are you guys friends now? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yes, we made, you know, we made amends. We have friends. We communicate every now and then. His sister is actually on my show, Athena Kotak. She's uh, Tommy Lee's sister, and she's on X, Y, Z of Rock with me, and we're best friends, actually. Did okay. you ever go back to Tommy, you know, for a um, little... For a little yeah, something, just something. Just to be silly. A little something, uh, something. It's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Oh. oh, that means yes. I will say I that never slept y- with him ever again. Okay. I never had sex with him, but you have to read the book because I do. Handy? We do every <laughs> few years try to reconcile or meet Double up. Double hand and, handy? No, no, I never even saw his penis ever again. Picking teens for a base? Oh. No, oh, yeah. I for couldn't baseball? do that. I kind of felt like, you know, the, the <laughs> one-eyed peg leg pimp down the street had a better chance at getting me in bed than he did at that point. Wow. Because, gotcha. You know what I mean? Because I just, he was the one that broke me, mm-hmm. you know, and it was... There's just no way. I got, couldn't let myself be that vulnerable again, really. You really want to annoy Tommy Lee? Fuck a comedian. That'll kill him. Oh, man. <laughs> why? No, I'm just saying. Jimmy's, uh, a, uh, okay. Jimmy's a comedian. Yeah, just oh, okay. I don't want to your left there. Good advice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to help. I'll feed away. Thank you. Know. Thank you. He's just trying to Yeah, it's not about mates. Of course not. It's not your healing. It's not your healing. Hey, hey, I appreciate any help I can get. Well, Bobby, you got to come back and see us, all right? I would love to. Thanks for having me. Cool. Dirty hey, Rocker thanks. Boys, Love yeah. and Lust on the Sunset Strip. You can get that book now. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised no book signings. That's What's I'm going sure on with that? It's not even out yet. The book's not even out yet. When oh. does it come out? Uh, uh, the 26th. But they, oh, but I didn't people have been that. talking about this book for a while. They have. They have. All right, so you'll you'll be uh, doing some book signings. I think so. That's think pretty obvious. Yeah, this is we're not even, we're just in pre-sales right now. Wow. Okay, so you can go yeah. on probably Amazon and get it. Uh, and next um, yep. next Tuesdays, uh, usually they come out on Tuesdays. Next Tuesday the twenty sixth. So that's when the book comes out. Yeah. And uh, there was a huge three page uh, piece on a Friday in the Post. Yep. I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah. It's getting uh, definitely good cool. press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And check out X Y Z of Rock. On Saturday night. I take a peek every once in a while. Who else is on that show? I'm um, Sharice Neal and myself and Susan Blue Ashley. She was married to another guy from Warrant and uh, Athena. Athena, right. Yeah. Who is she married to? She, um, James Kotak from the Scorpions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Scorpions! Yeah. <laughs> James Kotak. Thank All right. you. We're going to take for a having break. Me. Thank you, Bobby Brown. All right. Uh, Stacy Keach next. Stay there. The Opie and Anthony show continues. Alright, well that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.